Uh, dear friends, in the series of planning gas turbine technology, so we are uh, discussing about a simple gas turbine cycle. So, uh, so far we have discussed about a simple gas turbine cycle. So, in this uh, class, uh, we will discuss the advancement in the gas turbine cycle. So, that means uh, we are just going to do the modification uh, for the existing uh, gas turbine cycle. So, that modification, however, is going to help us in the performance uh, and also in how you improving the efficiency. Okay. So those things uh, we will be discussing in the upcoming classes also now okay in this class uh, we will be uh, just uh, we are going to see one modification to the uh, symbol gas turbine cycle. So what is that modification so that actually this is okay uh, we just call it as uh, heat exchange cycle okay. So this mo modification is based on the heat exchange cycle. How the modification is going to help us, uh, that is okay, we will discuss. First, let us see the working principle. So, the working principle is nothing but uh, we have a compressor and turbine, and uh, so we have a combustion chamber. In addition to that, we have a heat exchanger, okay. So, this is nothing but a heat exchanger. So, <clears throat> this heat exchanger, how it is going to help us? So, that is the question, okay. So, this is a heat exchanger. So this heat exchanger, okay, so how it is going to improve the performance, uh, so especially how it is going to improve the efficiency. So here what happened, the turbine outlet, a uh, turbine outlet that means that is unused, okay, the left out energy which comes out of the turbine that is okay, again sent through the uh, heat exchanger. So that okay, uh, heat exchanger utilizes the utilizes the this uh, turbine uh, residual gases, okay, residual hot gases to increase the uh, uh, that means uh, temperature and the pressure of the already compressed air. So that is what okay happening here. So now uh, our the operating condition, operating condition of the uh, this uh, combustion chamber now changed to. Uh, from 2 to 5. Previously it is only with a temperature, okay, temperature and pressure of uh, uh, this uh, 2, operating condition 2 that goes to the combustion chamber. Now because of the uh, addition of a heat exchanger, now the, uh, what to say, the operating condition to the combustion chamber is changed, okay. So that now it is the uh, new operating condition 5. So the, because uh, the heat is okay transferred, okay heat is transferred to the already existing uh, that means already compressed air. So because because of that now the compressed air has the uh, uh, that means uh, another okay different uh, or height uh, temperature and pressure. Okay that uh, com uh, high temperature and pressure air only goes to the combustion chamber. So where fuel is added and combustion takes place, then from the combustion chamber. Uh, hot gases okay at a high temperature that comes out of the uh, that comes out of the combustion chamber that goes to the turbine and to produce the work and then uh, this also further operates the uh, compressor okay so this is how this uh, heat exchange cycle works okay so very important very important thing is how we are utilizing the uh, turbine uh, residual gases hot gases okay then that uh, residual hot gases how it is okay uh, increasing the uh, temperature and the pressure of the already compressed air so that is very that is what uh, we have to note down here this is only the change okay so uh, here the operating condition for the uh, compressor and uh, 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 turbine for both it is same only operating condition here 1 and 2 and here 3 and 4 like in the simple gas turbine cycle but only the operating condition changes for the combustion chamber how it is going to change the efficiency that we will see now and uh, this is important uh, one more thing is the how how long the heat transfer takes place how long heat transfer takes place when the residual ga hot gases uh, send through the heat exchanger so how long heat transfer takes place nothing but this uh, outlet from the heat exchanger that's 5 okay when this 5 is equal to 4 as long as this 5 is equal to 4 heat transfer will be taking place that is what we have to understand so it means for the perfect heat exchange so the t5 is will be equal to t4 so this is one thing okay we have to note down for the perfect uh, uh, heat exchange so heat exchange this T5 is equal to T5 is equal to T4. 
so this thing okay we have to note down so uh, based on this condition also okay this condition also going to help us okay in uh, obtaining the efficiency so uh, now let us see the efficiency so the efficiency uh, okay in the for a regarding efficiency the turbine work and the compressor work is not okay disturbed because okay we did not disturb the operating uh, conditions means operating points uh, same only so the turbine uh, okay anyway we can write the uh, this one turbine work uh, for this also uh, compressor means work done okay compressor that is nothing but h2 minus h1 so this is equal to cp into t2 by t2 minus t1 then uh, compressor uh, the turbine work so that is operates between the h3 minus minus h4 so that's uh, tp into t3 uh, minus t4 okay then uh, heat supply now this is important the heat supply only uh, now changed that is what uh, playing the major role okay for improving the efficiency so heat supply now operates between uh, new uh, okay uh, operating conditions nothing but uh, h3 minus h5 so that is equal to cp into t5 minus uh, t3 so now okay this is uh, important okay so new operating condition that now works between uh, t5 and t3 earlier it is uh, yeah earlier it was uh, t2 minus okay this one uh, that means uh, 2 and 3 2 and 3 now it's uh, actually it is t3 t3 minus t5 yeah okay so this is okay we have to note down so then it means our uh, turbine work turbine work uh, is not going to change that is what uh, we have to understand the turbine work uh, nothing but so uh, wt is equal to uh, wt minus wc so this is okay because since the operating uh, condition same operating points are same so this will not have any changes so uh, this uh, we can just take it as it is uh, we have this is what uh, we have got it in our previous uh, this one t into 1 minus 1 by c uh, minus c minus 1 okay so this we have seen okay uh, t into 1 minus c uh, 1 minus 1 by c minus c minus 1 so this we have got it for the simple gas turbine cycle the same thing we are going to use it for here also so it means we have taken this assumption it means uh, the assumption nothing but uh, t3 by uh, yeah t3 by t1 the temperature ratio t then uh, our uh, rp rp power gamma minus 1 by gamma so this is nothing but c okay so uh, this two we have okay we are using by using that only we got this uh, this one okay so that means network network output okay we got it so this is what so now we have to find out what is the efficiency efficiency before going for efficiency let us uh, work on the heat supply okay the, how the heat addition is uh, going to change so this is okay we have uh, qs equal to cp so here also we are going to take a t1 outside so t1 cp t1 then uh, t3 by t1 t3 by t1 uh, minus uh, t5 t5 by t1 yeah okay so now we got the uh, ratio this one so uh, this one okay t3 by t1 we know uh, then this one in the uh, for the perfect heat exchange this t5 is going to uh, act as t4 so uh, here we can take cp into t1 into this is uh, t minus uh, yeah t minus t5 t5 is nothing but t4 now t4 by t1 yeah one more step we can write this is equal to cp into cp t1 into t t minus uh, t4 by t3 t4 by t3 uh, into t3 by t1 yeah okay so because uh, we know t3 by t1 is what so t4 by t3 is nothing but uh, we know so that is the expansion process okay so t4 by t3 that is nothing but and he says uh, okay because uh, uh, t2 by t1 is nothing but uh, t2 by t1 equal to rp power uh, gamma minus 1 by gamma that is also equal to t3 by t4 okay so uh, this is so this rp gamma minus 1 by gamma nothing but c this is nothing but uh, we can just say 
this is um, again uh, nothing but C so this is okay whole thing only we say as C so now that one we can substitute here it means CP CP T1 into uh, T minus uh, T4 by T3 so instead of that okay we can substitute because T4 T3 by T4 1 C so T, T4 by T3 nothing but 1 by C 1 by C into this is okay T so this is so uh, this is what okay so our QS now nothing but uh, CP T1 into uh, T minus uh, T by C okay so this is the uh, our heat supplied based on uh, this temperature ratio and uh, uh, this uh, C pressure ratio okay now uh, let us find the efficiency because we now we got the heat supply and we know the network output so we can find out the efficiency so the efficiency okay now it becomes uh, yeah this is okay efficiency now becomes that means uh, eta efficiency equal to thermal efficiency that is a wn uh, wn by heat supply qs so wn nothing but cp t1 into uh, t t into 1 minus uh, 1 by c uh, this is also we can write c minus this is also by taking c outside i am taking 1 minus 1 by c so this is okay so uh, here we have taken the C outside, so that's why it becomes uh, 1 minus 1 by C. Then uh, whole divided by, okay, we have to write this CP into, uh, here also we can just uh, CP T1, CP T1 uh, into the T we can take it outside, in, okay, here, then 1 minus 1 by C, okay, okay. So here what happened now, uh, this whole, uh, CPT1 is uh, okay cancelled okay on both the numerator and denominator and also here 1 minus uh, 1, 1 minus 1 by C in both okay numerator and denominator is common so we can cancel out uh, this so this so the remaining uh, the rest of the term nothing but uh, this is what our okay so eta equal to uh, that means uh, T minus T minus C by T so yeah so this we can write it as uh, 1 minus uh, c by t okay so uh, our now efficiency is nothing but okay eta is equal to 1 minus uh, c by t so this is so this is what okay now we got it uh, from this uh, formula in the simple gas turbine cycle we know how the the efficiency formula simple gas turbine cycle the efficiency is 1 minus 1 by c okay because where c is nothing but uh, rp power uh, gamma minus 1 by gamma okay so this formula and this formula now we easily we can understand okay so the, this formula is different because of the addition of heat exchanger so now the how this formula is going to play okay that means regarding the performance aspect how it is going to work us let's see so now uh, yeah so we can just uh, yes so what we are going to see so the efficiency is nothing but uh, okay we say efficiency is nothing but it is equal to 1 minus uh, c by t okay so this is what efficiency now so uh, when t equal to okay so we will see for a fixed value of c for a fixed okay for a uh, fixed okay uh, c then what happened if t increases okay see now c is fixed the t now okay, increases so then what happened the